Okay, as far as Forex data feeds, if you go right here to binary and spread signals, go down here to get free Forex data. Uh, some of you guys are already using IQ feed. That is the first set of information here you'll have is IQ feed. IQ feed, you can sign up and they'll give you a couple weeks free and then you have to start paying a monthly fee. Um, if you go down here, another alternative is uh, FXCM and FXCM will allow you to get multiple uh, free trials. So if you want to get started right away, give yourself a little extra time to get rolling and catch on to everything before you have to start paying for a subscription. This may be your better bet. Now, if you're just wanting the basic Forex data so that you can get that on your charts, um, this is a great option. If you are wanting to have access to uh, the volatility indices for the choppy market warning, uh, so if you're wanting choppy market indicators or like the BMI, you will need to go with IQ feed. But if you're just wanting basic Forex data to get started, you can use uh, FXCM here. Now, you do need to already have NinjaTrader installed on your computer. But what you'd simply do is just click the link right here. Don't get confused by this sign up page. There's a couple options it talks about for licenses and how to open accounts. Don't worry about all that. Just go down to the bottom here, fill in your name and information, click submit. What that will do is automatically give you a username and password. It will also email it to you as you see right here. Okay? It'll give you login, a password, and a Ninja Trader key. Now, you don't necessarily need this new Ninja Trader key um, unless what you want to do is pull up your Ninja Trader, go to Help, and go to License Key. What you want to make sure is that your License Key starts with SIM. That would mean that it's a simulation license key that you got directly from Ninja Trader when you installed it. If your license key says anything else, like from AMP or CQG or from another, um, you know, um, data feed or, or broker you're using, you cannot use that. You have to make sure that you're using the Ninja Trader license key. So if yours starts with anything different than SIM, then go ahead and copy and paste um, that from your email. If you already have it in there, then great. But if it says something different, just go ahead and copy and paste this license key in there um, because you'll need that to get access to FXCM. So if you have that in there, what you'll want to do is go to Tools, go to Account Connections. You might already have some connections in there, AMP or IQ Feed. You'll want to click Add. That way you can set up a new connection. It'll take a minute for that to pop up. My computer's run a little slow today. Create a new connection, click Next. You'll want to go ahead and just name it FXCM. Then under the drop down box here, see if you don't have the right license key, you won't have this drop down box. You'll click FXCM there. Uh, do not click Connect on Startup. Do not have that clicked. Um, and then right here you want to make sure that it says use Ninja Trader servers. Click next. And then here is where you will import from your uh, your username and password from your email address. So you can just copy and paste that right in there. Let's do that real quick. Let's see here. Yep. Okay, and then from there, what you want to do is just go ahead and click Demo, and then hit Next, and then you'll hit Finish. And just click OK there. Now you've got FXCM right there. Okay, so once that's done, you can come over here to Connect, Connect to FXCM. It'll take just a second to connect to that. You can see it at the bottom there, connecting. And there you go. Now you're connected. 
from there what you can do is go in and open up a new chart let's just open up a USD yen 10 minute chart deviation stop loss go ahead and let that open up It'll show it loading the data validating your ninja toolkit here from apex investing and then right there there's your chart and you'll now have live forex data so that's how you walk through and install fxcm pretty simple